Hey everyone, and welcome to my first look at Action Hank. This game is a physics-based individual level platformer where you're pretty much a toy going through like toy obstacle courses. It's very, it's difficult, and it has kind of a trousy vibe at some points uh, when you get into the more difficult levels and physics puzzles pretty much. Uh, it's in early access, it just got onto early access on Steam yesterday when this video comes out. And I really can't recommend it enough, I'm having so much fun with it. Leaderboards aren't there yet, it says coming soon, but it exists. The game is by Rage Squid, and we're just going to jump right into showing you the settings. The game settings don't really exist yet, audio I have low, graphics, there you go. That's the kind of stuff that you can have. But mostly, what I'm going to talk about is the gameplay. So you can choose characters, this is an unlockable character. Hank is of course your main character, you can choose your costumes, that one's uh, <laughs> if you get it in early access you'll get this costume. And that's about that, I like how different he looks <laughs> in this next one. I'm just gonna play the default one, and pretty much you just go through the levels, I've played a lot because I'm really enjoying it, this is the one where I unlocked the other character, and you just kind of try to go fast and keep your momentum and everything. One of the best things about it though, is that it lets you choose your ghost. You get to run against bronze, silver, gold, PB, or friends, or world champion. In that case, uh, let's run against the world champion and see how that goes. Wouldn't be surprised to just already be behind. Oh man, look at Rosie here. Rosie is just killing it. Good jumps. Man, physics is hard. 0.65 seconds. Wow, that's pretty impressive. That isn't even a new PB. But I think you have to be top on your friends list or like at a certain point to run against the uh, world champion. I don't know. Still, Northern Lion, Scrub, etc. Not really. Cool guy. And I mean, the levels range from beginner to let's play this easy level because I don't have gold on it and I'd like to get gold on it. And, uh, let's see, uh, Northern Lions 2014, That's what year it is, man. Sorry, this is going to be loud, most likely, because for whatever reason it just keeps accelerating at loudness. How did he gain time there? I don't even get it. Oh, I didn't do that right, I'm resetting. So this is kind of where the trials vibe comes from, because pretty much... You, oh, that's really good. You are going to want to reset a lot of at faults. Not that it tracks your faults or anything. But just kind of you'll want to reset for faults and things. There we go. There's my gold. I beat Northern Lion, which is all that matters in the world. And there are checkpoints and everything, but if you reset the checkpoint, sorry, you don't want to hear that a lot of times. If you reset the checkpoint, it's just going to get slower and slower because it keeps tracking your time. I'll show you the character unlock. I assume that's how they'll unlock all of the characters and the races will just be tougher and tougher. Uh, this is definitely like a gold medal level um, opponent. Alright, good. And you can see that there are all sorts of things. Okay, careful there. Oh, I made a mistake. And then I'm dead. Don't care about resetting at checkpoints because you've already lost at that point, especially in the race. But this is just how you unlock the character. Oh, I didn't gain my point one second. But I gained time in wall jumps. Alrighty. And that would unlock me the character. Wow, oh, I stayed exactly even there. So that's the first area that goes from beginner to easy, then the second area goes from easy to medium. Um, let's see, we unlock a new, I guess hookshot is the first one where we unlock it. There's one more mechanic that I can show off, and then the rest is just kind of in uh, beta. I'm not very good with this. I'm playing with a keyboard. I'm sure you can play with a controller. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure. That was pretty bad. I'm going to reset that. Oh my gosh. Of course, you can go up those um, 
to Jiggers. Alright, that's pretty good. This takes a lot of focus for me. Because I like going fast and not messing up too much. Oh, I won! <laughs> New PB! Yay! So that gives you the little grappling hook type thing, which is just a suction cup because you're a toy. <clears throat> and it's pretty cool, and it can be used in some interesting ways. Like... This one, I'm terrible at this level. That's probably why I have a silver on it. Let's run against gold for this. I'm terrible at this level. Oop. Oh, you made it. Okay, so far so good. Ah, dang it. Yep, and then suddenly all the time is gone. Yep. Rip the dream. This level's really hard. For me. Oh, uh, you know what? I the weirdest thing about using the um, grappling hook for me is that you have to hold the direction that you're originally moving to keep gaining speed, even though you change directions at some point. Ah, dang. But then I'm going to show you the insane level stuff. I'm probably not going to actually get gold on this level in the uh, video. Though I can clearly gain a lot of time on the computer here, on the gold. Ah, well. Dang it. And now I'm way behind. Yep, gold finished a while ago. <clears throat> Six seconds behind my best. I don't know how you get all the way up to the top, but anyway. <clears throat> this is a cool mechanic that I'm terrible with. Might be due to keyboard, it might not be. I can definitely get the gold and I'll probably do that off camera. But then there are the work in progress levels, which are hard. They're really hard. Let's see, uh, I've shown you medium, but I think this level might be cool. I think it's the next one that's cool, maybe. I don't know. All I know is not running against the world champion. That's what I know. Hmm. So this one's a lot longer, and it just changes the way you move through the area, as you feel, like how it feels moving through things. Because you're going to change platforms because they're all like right on top of one another. Like that. Ah, that was kind of bad. And, like, you can tell when you're losing momentum and things. Alright. It might PB. I uh, might not, though. <laughs> yeah! Of course, that doesn't have, um... the same system, because it doesn't have all of this. It's draft stage, so it doesn't have the bronze, etc. The ultimate test does, but I can't even do the first jump in the ultimate test. So this is the hard level I beat. I can beat the other one, but I just can't get past the first segment in a satisfying way. I'll show you. But this is when it starts feeling more trialsy because it just adds tougher jumps. Oops, I didn't jump there successfully. But it just adds tougher jumps, more physics-y stuff. But I'll see if I can complete this level real quick. Tough stuff right there. I probably won't PB even though I'm so far ahead because this jump is so difficult for me at least. I missed. And then I reset instead of hitting enter to reset to the checkpoint. That's a place where I would reset to the checkpoint. But that's a really tough jump. Like, it's very precise. I gained 0.9 seconds. My PB wasn't good up to this point. It's just that I hit this first try, which is really hard, but you get the idea. Uh, so I'm going to go to the level select, because that's the last jump. And then I'm going to show you this one, which is pretty cool. And it's just to show the range of how difficulties will go. It gets really difficult. It does. Uh, ah, I didn't make it. That's pretty difficult. 
Ah, it's actually like really difficult for me. And then you have to do it again. There we go. Eh, that works. Faster than I've done in the past. And this jump's not so bad. Might be the one where I complete it. Oh, I'm supposed to keep running there. I really, that's the problem right there. That is the problem right there. And then you pretty much just have to reset to this checkpoint. Try again. Jeez, how? Okay, you can't jump there or you won't make it to the... Dude, that's so crazy. It's really a crazy jump, or a crazy run. Because look, I can't even do it. But that's kind of... It gets hard, is what I'm saying. And then the ultimate test, I'll try and show you the first jump, but I can't do it. But like I said, I am a sucker for level based individual level based platformers jump is hard and I just don't know how to uh, make it I just can't do it I like I've ran I've run against the gold medal for this for a little bit saw what it did can't do it so close and I'm probably just bad or something that's entirely possible But, like I said, I've really enjoyed this game so far, and I, I want to see it make it far, because it's doing what it wants to do really well. And I definitely want to see it successful even in early access, and I hope that you guys like it too, and think you want to buy it. Ah, but I can't do that jump, and that's kind of the moral of the story. It gets very difficult, they've shown a very good range of difficulty throughout, you know, just where things go from and to. And then I'm sure there will be plenty in between and plenty before and after and maybe even have a level creator or something. <clears throat> and when there are leaderboards that are working all the time, maybe you'll be able to run against um, besides like world champion, but like anyone individually, like just the place in front of you to see so that you can climb one place at a time if that's what you're into. <clears throat> but this is Action Hank. I really, really like it. And I can't wait to see more from it. There will be links in the description, of course, to the site, Steam, etc. Relevant stuff. I recommend you check it out. Especially if you like platformers and like time-based things. I really do. But that's all I've got for you for it. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I will see you next time.